As a design team, we, we absolutely love pushing the limits. You know, we, we don't accept that what's out there now is, is good enough, and, and we love you know push, being competitive and and designing new things, um, integrating new products into the bike, um, new philosophies. We're always pushing each other, whether it be out on the bike or here at work, and we're always wanting to raise our standards and accept no limits, really. We really put a stake in the ground when we created the Corona Evo 2. And we created the world's fastest UCI legal TT bike, and the profiles and tube shapes we developed for that project, we optimised and we moved across into the Corsa platform. Some of the um, founding principles for the design team for this project and some of the core objectives were um, summed up in, in one word. That one word is integration. There's no gratuitous styling anywhere on the bike. You know, it's all about um, you're working within the engineering requirements and the aerodynamic requirements of the bike and, uh, and then taking those and finding how to best balance them all in a, in a really pure uh, package that still somehow has a really striking silhouette. And then it's taking that silhouette and looking at it every single detail and trying to figure out how we can make it even more integrated and even more, um, um, more beautiful and more refined and um, really sophisticated and slick. One of my favourite features on the bike is the integrated quick-release skewers. The QRs that loop up into the frame and they become part of the bike. Even things as, as sort of mundane, seemingly mundane, as uh, the, the stackers beneath the stem have uh, an aero profile to them and um, create an even better aero proposition. One of my favourite features of the bike is, is the seat clamp. It's, it's very functional, it, it works extremely well and it's well integrated to the frame. A lot of the process has been about kind of stripping stuff off and then where, where we have opportunities to, to sort of express small details, then we um, have worked really hard on making those um, pretty special. We spent a, a large number of hours designing the bike using FEA, the structural simulation software, as well as CFD, which is the aerodynamic analysis software. For us, going to the wind tunnel is really a validation of, um, of our design. But, you know, we travel 13 and a half thousand kilometres um, to get there, so we don't take it lightly. Uh, you know, we spend we spend several days there and, and, um, and really fine tune the design. Quite often, you'll see things on screen, and the real results never quite as good. There's always things wrong, but for some reason, I don't know why, but this one was even better in real life. At Avanti, we've created a very unique design language that's built into the bikes. You can see that design language from the Chrono, and now it comes across into the Corsa. To me, this is this is a pure Avanti. Corsa is really just a bike for anyone that wants to go fast. Full stop.